All right, so got the trailer loaded up on the H3T and we are about to head out to pick up the 1978 CB550K that I've uh, managed to arrange to pick up at two o'clock today. Um, was able to negotiate a price of $500 for one owner with less than 8,000 miles. It has been sitting for 20 years and it does have its fair amount of surface rust and just uh, general disrepair from sitting, but uh, I have faith that it shouldn't take very much to get this thing going. So let's get on the way and I'll see you when we get there. See you soon. All right, we are just about here and uh, hopefully the bike is out front to make it easy to load on the trailer. He did say that he uh, pulled it out, so let's see. On your right. Oh. Arrived. Wow, look at this old Chevy. Wow, lots of stuff out here. Jeep. All right, we'll find the bike. All right, got the CB550K loaded up on the trailer, 1978. Pretty cool. A lot of work ahead of me, but that's the bike I was after. I love these 550s. Oh, pretty cool. Strapped up, ready for the ride. All right, we're going to hit the road and we'll unload it at the house. See you then. All right, all loaded up and on the way back. Bike sitting there on the trailer, strapped, looking great. Can't wait to get it home, off the trailer, pile wash and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll get back to the house. Maybe we'll do that. So here she is, back home safe and sound. 1978 Honda CB550K. Right off the bat, as I've mentioned probably this bike has been sitting for exactly 20 years. Um, the license plate is still on it, and you can see that it was last registered in 2001, and today is April 21st, 2021. So it has been quite a while. Um, the cargo bags, saddle bags, side bags, whatever you like to call them, as well as the sissy bar, are not typically my style, but I imagine someone uh, could find some use for those so those will be going up for sale uh, the original mirrors are also not my style um, they're not in perfect condition but they are original so maybe someone would like those as well uh, the handlebars most likely will get changed out they do have some surface rust and they're not really the position of bars that I like so um, yeah those will probably go the gauges, you can see, original 7,886 miles. A little aftermarket clock on the top of the tack. The original key is here. And the gas tank, yeah, opens up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Huh, first glance, the tank doesn't look bad. There isn't a chance that he would have drained this when he parked it for the last time, is there? But then again, I can only see the top. If there, Chances are the tank wasn't full when he parked it, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. Because I did see that uh, there is a little bit of rust on this tank. Right in the back corner here. Along here. And a little bit right along the decal for some reason. On this seam here. So... The tank does not seem to have any dents, which is great. Um, I didn't see any, so hopefully that rust is minimal and the tank can be salvaged. Another thing is the seat. The seat appears to be the original Honda seat and is not ripped, which is pretty amazing. Uh, you can see under all that dust and dirt and grime, there's the Honda logo. And uh, I doubt very much with 7,800 something miles on it that that seat was ever replaced. So I do believe that's the original. Yeah, and the tank again on this side, no dents. And actually, I don't even see any rust on this side. 
gonna be up and under. And uh, yeah, the motor doesn't look too bad. I mean, typical uh, being left out in the elements. The wheels are pretty much junk, we know that. And the exhaust is junk. Definitely on this side is really, really bad. But uh, yeah, it's okay. Original covers are there. Got the crash bar with some extra pegs on there. The exhaust headers look salvageable. Um, back to the mufflers. And also, uh, he gave me a whole bunch of spare parts here. A complete extra set of carbs. These are all from a parts bike that I guess the original owner had. There's some shocks there. And they're supposed to be, I haven't looked at it yet, supposed to be a brand new muffler in this box, at least one. And he said he might have another hanging around that he'll call me if he finds. And there's some extra parts, looks like pegs and sprockets and things like that. Another crash bar, another sissy bar. And this rim is probably not great, not that much better than the one that's on it, but maybe the rotor is salvageable, the hub. Uh, so there's a few extra goodies. So yeah, pretty excited. Um, I can't wait to get this kind of power washing cleaned up to see what it looks like. But more importantly, I want to see what the tank is like. Uh, that's my biggest concern. But uh, yeah, the motor turns, no problem. So, yeah, we got good compression, so shouldn't be too bad. It's a Honda. It'll run. All right, so I think what I'll do is just give this a quick rinse. Just realized I lent out my power washer to my buddy uh, this past week, so I've got to get that back to do a thorough power wash. But the bike is complete and original, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm just going to give it a rinse off so I can touch it without feeling gross. And then I'm going to unbolt some of the ugly. So <laughs> some of these old uh, hose clamps on the forks and these supports, which I believe are for the windscreen that I'm not going to be using. So we'll take those off. And maybe we'll take this crash bar and foot pegs off, which are going to be in the way for other things anyway. Probably unbolt these... Uh, nasty looking mufflers and the brackets and even these side bags because I won't be using those and lastly the sissy bar I still think I might keep this rear rack it's gonna need a clean up but it'll be nice to have a rear rack um, for obvious reasons so let's get to it rinse it off and uh, give you a look see you soon it's all wet down side covers look a little better already tank too uh, seat looks amazing. I still can't get over that seat not having a rip in it. That'll clean up nice. Um, the chrome, obviously, the rust, yeah, well, whatever. We'll deal with it. See what we can see, what we can't. Um, one thing about these old bikes, or any bike really, is that uh, when they're parked for a period of time, you know, the kickstand is on the left hand side, and typically people have it on the kickstand as opposed to the uh, center stand. And uh, you know, on the side of the tank, you get the uh, the corrosion, the rusting. So that's why I'm concerned that there was at least this much gas in the tank, uh, which just happened to be right along the the decal here, and it probably rusted from the inside out. So I, you know, I really have my concerns about this tank and the. Uh, the ability to repair it but it's a shame if I can't because uh, you know there's no dents or anything I mean anything is repairable it's just how much work you want to put into it so definitely will put some effort into trying to salvage the original tank there's no question behind that um, so yeah so the next thing I'm going to do as I mentioned is just take off some of these few components and we'll take another look so I'll see you in a few okay so I went ahead and uh, as I said unbolted a lot of the ugly and I don't think it looks too bad still got the wheels to deal with and a lot of other things uh, but for the most part that's the bike I was after no sissy bar no bags haven't decided about the crash bar yet but the bike looks pretty good all stock CB550K 
That's what I was after. So I am pretty excited. Here's uh, the mess of parts. The exhaust all off. Pretty bad. Extension pegs uh, off the crash bar or whatever. And the side bags, which, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of. And the sissy bar, uh, not my style. The bags are in pretty good shape. Obviously, the chrome is not. And I actually looked inside. There's a whole bunch of junk inside that I got to go through. I don't think it's anything of value, but it uh, looks like the owner left, I don't know, let's see, safety glasses, rag, a pen, and some tie-downs. Looks like a fuse down there. And this one had a little bit more junk. Uh, looks like a helmet bag, another, another tie-down. Uh, looks like the foam to the bottom of this thing. Oh, brand new Honda oil seal. Okay. Eek. Don't know about that. Uh, another pair of some sort of glasses. And looks like a filter housing. Okay. And some miscellaneous nuts and bolts. So, anyway, that's uh, all for later. But uh, nothing too exciting overall. So yeah, probably go with a Delkevic 4 into one exhaust. So I don't think I'll be reusing these. Even though uh, I did open the package that came with this. And it was one brand new muffler. But it was not a stock or OEM. It was an aftermarket. Uh, so I'll probably just sell that and recoup a couple bucks and put it towards the exhaust for the system. But yeah, so that's about it. So uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.